I whai wā hi atu a tahu news ki a Lisa Tumahai, he mana o te runango ngai tahu, a i whi pātai atu a hau ki a ia. He ata ngai tahu ki te huakito COVID-19, kai te aha te iwi. A lot of our whānau work in the tourism industry, work in the primary industry, and there will be significant job loss. But I want you to know we know that, and we're working on different initiatives that will help us rebuild rebuild our people, rebuild our corporate, and move us forward into the future. Nā reira, hea hau nā whae ka matua mo te roa ko tēnei tau. We have to be realistic about what we can achieve within the resource that we've got available. And so I know that some of our whānau who live outside the Takiwa, distant from Papatipu, don't engage that well with the iwi, um, are thinking about, well, realistically, what are the iwi going to do for me? You know, And as things get harder going forward, they're probably really going to look to the iwi for those supports. So one of the challenges we will have is in the first 12 months, where do we put our focus? And the reality is we're going to have to put a stake in the ground and say, OK, well, in the first 12 months, we actually need to focus on home. Because if there's no good, strong home to come home to, then, you know, we've got a lot of problems ahead of us. O whakaaro mō te hauaro te iwi. So I'm excited about the opportunity that this does bring for us. We've had some work done by Edu, one of our innovative thinkers, about resetting the future workforce. So that work is now going to come into play. We can start to develop programs that are evidence-based from the work that Edu has done and take us into the future. Mō tato a mō ka uri a muri aki nei. So when we think about our whakatauki, it's not just for our children after us, it's also for those of us today. Mea ha kāuri o te iwi e kimi kōrero āwhinana mō rātou. The best place for Fano comes through the tribal website. The COVID-19 section of the website has links to everything, every government agency, uh, all of the health responses, uh, where you can get supports. Uh, and if you can't find what you're looking for through the tribal website, come through the 0800 number there and our team will start to look at who they can connect you with. So even in the North Island, we have had some examples of Fano in the North seeking supports and we've been able to connect them to um, the health responses or the COVID response team within the area that they're living in. For our whānau over in Australia, we've been able to provide information about the changes the Australian government are making to ensure New Zealand citizens can access uh, different welfare supports over there. So, yeah, first, through the website. If you can't find it, then call the 0800 number and come through the Ops Centre. We're only as good as the information that we know, so I'm always open and willing to hear from whānau we're only stronger together. You know, we've got to stay united. We've got to ensure our manaki continues. Mm-hmm.